Let's take a look at some of the latest health headlines. Joining us now is Professor at Northwestern University Medical School and Morning News Medical Contributor Dr. Lauren Stryker. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. All right, news health headlines of the day. The FDA approves a medication to treat postpartum depression. Yeah, Zoranolone. This is big. This is big. Because we think in terms of postpartum depression, we're not talking about the baby blues. We're talking about serious depression and anxiety that affects about one out of eight women after they deliver. And it can result not only in harming the baby, but in harming themselves. And up until now, there has not been an oral medication which was FDA approved for this purpose. So what makes this antidepressant different than other antidepressants? Well, number one, it works a whole lot faster. Your typical SSRI, which has been used, it takes four to six weeks to kick in. Oh. This kicks in like three to four days. Okay. You only need to take it for two weeks, and it's going to last for up to six weeks. And the side effects are really not that bad. I mean, first of all, fatigue and exhaustion. Well, who's going to know the difference when you're postpartum? Everyone's right. fatigued and exhausted anyway. But it really does seem to work, and the alternative really has just been an IV medication. So that's going to be released in the next couple of months, and it's going to make a big difference for a lot of women. That's great. All right, a couple of new studies that deal with cognition. Cognition. You know, there's so many studies that come out on cognition, which is good because we don't know enough about it, and you want to see new things. But it's just all over the map with all of these things that claim to help in terms of memory and cognition. And vitamin D is at the top of the list because there have been literally hundreds of studies that talk about the use of vitamin D to help with memory. And some say it helps and some say it doesn't help and there's really nothing that's been definitive. Well, this study that just came out got my attention because it was a really good study. It was 20,000 people. It went for five years and they had both the placebo group and then mm -hmm. the group getting vitamin D and they measured every year and what they found at the end of five years is that there was no difference in the vitamin D group. Mm. So vitamin D is good for you for other reasons. If you're deficient, you should certainly take it, but it's not going to help with memory. But the other study that got my attention that shows something that did work was, wait for it, you're not going to believe it, aromatherapy. Yeah, I know. I had that same look on my face when, mm. when I read this article. But this was a real article in a real journal. And basically, it turns out that the olfactory part of the brain is basically a highway to the memory area of the brain and that it stimulates it. And just kind of like, you know, yeah. when you smell something and it evokes yeah. that memory. Well, so in this study, they did aromatherapy in a group of people at night for two hours a night for six weeks. And then they had the group that got the fake aromatherapy. And the group that had aromatherapy had a two 100% increase in their memory. Now, I know, I, I know. But how do you do fake aromatherapy? Yeah, what's fake aromatherapy? Oh, 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 Are those Yankee did. candles? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Is it a faint? They had like the, the, the air coming up and they had like a faint, you know, like a, a faint little sense. bit. It's just faint, a faint, faint smell. smell as opposed so. to the real aromatherapy. Okay. But the caveat to this, you know, is that um, the group that they were testing it in, they didn't have any cognitive problems. These were young, healthy people, which is also, I mean, don't get me started on the whole Prevazid thing, you know, that when you look how many times have you seen those commercials that you just want to like knock your head against the wall? Prevazid also, which is completely worthless, was only tested in young people people that have no memory problems. And by the way, the ingredient in Prevacid is vitamin D, which I've just established doesn't okay. work. Uh -huh. So if you're going to choose between spending your money on Prevacid and getting some nice aromatherapy, Try the Go aromatherapy. for the aromatherapy. I don't oh, know. Right. And how about something to help with hair loss? Another thing where we see a lot of snake oil out there. You know, yeah. There's no end of lotions and potions that are going to promise to give you a full, thick head of hair. And most of them, of course, are completely worthless. Well, a study just came out on a new over-the-counter product called Revive, R-E-V-I-V-V. -V, and, and Revive is basically a lotion that you put on the scalp. You roll it on a couple times a day. And in this clinical trial, they found that it did double hair growth by, you know, in most people, in addition to making it thicker. But a couple, again, a couple of caveats when we look at a product like this. It was a short trial. It was only eight weeks. And the dermatologists I know say that you need a lot more than that to these hair growth products. Um, and we have no long-term studies. But 70% of guys have problems with hair loss, 40% of women. Our options out there are not great. There's that greasy, icky minoxidil that you put on your scalp. Nobody wants mm -hmm. to do that. There's an oral drug called finasteride. But the one that really works, that, that you may not be hearing about, is to take low-dose oral minoxidil. Mm. Oral low-dose minoxidil has been in over 100 studies and has been shown to dramatically increase hair growth. And the only reason you don't hear about it is because since it was not FDA approved for that purpose, it's off-label, the drug company can't 
advertise oral minoxidil, hmm. but the dermatologists are prescribing it. Interesting. After my first COVID, you know, bout when I lost a ton of hair, that made it come back thicker than it had been before. Good. Um, I have a podcast episode on it, which is a little bit old, but people still listen to it okay. a lot. But don't bother with the over-the-counter snake oil. All right. You know, if you're going to go for something, get a prescription for oral minoxidil if it's really an issue. Hmm. All right. You can check out Dr. Stryker on social media. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Time now for Ron Tom. Hey, Anna. Oh, my God.